What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning Channel. In this video, I'm talking to everybody who has had their test canceled or postponed due to COVID-19. It's a very frustrating time and I know for a lot of you who've commented on my channel, you spent all this time preparing, you were ready for the March test or the May test and now it's been pushed back everything is thrown up into question. We're not exactly sure when the makeups are gonna be given or when you can take that next test. So the natural question is, how do I stay on track with my preparation? How do you continue to prepare and be motivated and still set yourself up to do your absolute best when that test day arrives? So here we go. I'm gonna give you my ultimate tips for how to get yourself in the best shape possible for when you do end up taking the SAT. The first tip, which may seem a little counterintuitive, is to take a break. So your test was supposed to be a week and a half ago, or maybe it was supposed to be in May, whatever the case, you're probably slightly demoralized. And I don't blame you. When you're prepping for something or you envision something going a certain way, when it doesn't happen, when things get thrown off, it's highly disheartening. And that's a normal reaction. To make sure you maintain your emotional health I recommend that you take a break. I have students of mine right now that have opted to take a week to a week and a half break to let their minds rest and relax as they cope with the new change in circumstances. If you have been prepping hard up to this point, give yourself permission to take that well-deserved break. The next tip is figure out how to prepare effectively while at home. So for those of you who are used to going to a library, working at a tutoring center, now all of that has to happen within the confines of your own home. As such, I highly recommend designating a particular area where you can continue your practice problems and mock tests. It's really important that these spaces are extremely quiet and isolated and cut off from the rest of your family. Now, if you don't have a lot of room in your house to get that isolation, make sure that when you are working through practice problems, but most importantly, when you're taking practice tests, you ask your family to give you that privacy and that quiet. We want to mimic the test circumstances as best as possible. And if you can't do it elsewhere, try and do it in home with the cooperation of your family. The next tip has to do with resources. While you may have been getting your resources from a particular person, or you've been going to a library and looking at stuff, we don't have that option anymore. Now you are studying in your home and we just gotta deal with it. It is what it is. But the beauty is there are so many good resources that you can access from home. First, let's talk about the free resources. If you haven't looked at Khan Academy, you gotta start there because Khan Academy is partnered with the College Board. There are so many free resources on Khan Academy, not to mention the official eight practice tests straight from the College Board. Then you have the Khan Academy practice resources in the math section where you can go through targeted practice based on the question types that you need the most help with. And by the way, there are 41 of these question types. Make sure to make your way through those step by step. After Khan Academy, there are tons of free resources on YouTube. Yes, of course you're watching my channel right now, which has tons of content related to the math portion of the SAT, but there are loads of other channels that have more free resources and walkthroughs for the SAT and math portion and English portion. Do your due diligence, search and see what's out there and find the YouTube channels and the teachers that are a good match with your learning style. Now, if we're talking about paid resources, the next place you can go is look at paid video courses. Every test prep company has a video course. Some are better than others, so make sure to check them out and see which ones you like the best. Of course, we have our own video course as well that you can find in the description link below. Last but not least, there are still tons of practice resources that you can buy on Amazon. My personal favorite is from the College Panda. They have an amazing practice resource for math, so make sure to check that out. You can also get resources from Dr. John Chung, which is a very, very hard resource for math, but it's still a pretty good one. And then for tests that are extremely similar to the College Boards, they're almost essentially question by question remakes. You can check out the Princeton Review, but that's the one that I would give after the other two. The next tip has to do with those of you who have tutors. If you do have a tutor and you're not able to meet face to face, man, it is amazing what you can do through Zoom. I've been meeting with all my clients through Zoom, so I highly recommend you Zoom for tutoring sessions. You can still have extremely valuable tutoring sessions online. In fact, just as valuable and immersive as if you were in person. The final tip is to make a schedule. Even if 
if you don't know if your next test date is in June, in August, maybe sometime in July, if they give a makeup test date in July, make a schedule in terms of the work that you're putting in, not in terms of the finish line. Give yourself weekly tasks to do, and that way you'll keep yourself in the groove. Remember, this is a, a process where you're gonna continually get better. Moreover, you wanna, at a minimum, do some practice every week so you don't lose the progress you've already gained. And for many of you, I know spring break is coming up, which means a lot of extra free time. Since you can't go anywhere anyways, you're not going on vacation, you're not really gonna be visiting friends or anybody, use that time to prep extra hard. Make a game out of it. This is a game that can be won, so I highly encourage you to put in the time, get a set structure in place, and knock that test out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.